start our Dhamma sermon. Dear friends in Dhamma, we are in Dhamma Padra stanza number 160. 159. Attananche tata kaira yatanya manusa sati. Sudanto cha dhameta attahi kira duddhamo. Tananche tata kaira yatanya manusasati. As he instructs others, so should himself act. This istensa is related to the previous istensa that we discussed last evening. Yatanya manusasati. Sudanto chata dat. Dhammeta attahi kira duddhamu. Himself, fully control, he should control others for oneself. Indeed, it is difficult to control. It is difficult to control. In this particular stanza, there are few words are very important. Those are sudanto dhammeta. Sudanto Dameta. Sudanto Dameta means control yourself. Be a person who is qualified to give advice by as an example. This qualification is the most important qualification to be a leader, to advise others. Becoming leader, you can do so many things, be an example. Be an example without using your verbs, you can give example for others. Therefore, in here, in this particular stanza, one quality that Buddha mentioned, Sudanto Dhameta, first you be a qualified person, being a peaceful person. You should be able to control your defilements, them in your word, them in your actions. Being that kind of person, then, Second word, dhameta and attananche kaira yatanya manusasati, anusasati, anusasati, you can advise others because you are already in that stage, being in that stage, you, you can advise to others. Very important, atta, atta mean in this very life. In this very life, atta hi. Duddhamo, duddhamo. It is not easy to tame your word and action. Taming your word and action is the duty, responsibility, obligations that we have in this very life. So, being a leader, to lead your group, you should tame your word and actions. As you know, in Dhammapada persistence, Mano Pubbangama Dhamma Mano Sitta Mano Maya. The mind is the leader, mind is the Purana. We do everything under the influence of our mind. So, what kind of mentality you have is a wicked mind. Or clean mind. If you are living with wicked mind, there is no way to control your desire. There is no way to control your anger. There is no way to control your any defilements. So, how you can tame your word and action if you are not able to control your mind, your defilements? Therefore, 
as a leader becoming a leader you should control your word and actions dear friends we all love how kind of leadership as a mother father you have leadership to your family as a brother and sister you have leadership to your family as a son or daughter yes you have leadership as a student you have kind of leadership as a uh, worker employer in one of company you have some kind of leadership therefore leadership is something with us all the time so to manage that leadership in right direction give them right influence we should use this opportunity and we should be qualified person benefits for everybody first you have to have control in thoughts yourself if you don't have that control in thoughts then you are not able to control you are not uh, able to be an example to others i have wonderful things to share with you first when i come to this country i did not have much experience about this country i had never been to out of the country where i born i had all experiences everything in that country not any other places but somehow becoming i mean get into this country and then i started work with young people particularly because i was in the university at that university i was with other students most of them are adult i am the only person who is wearing a robe and a monk and also who has different lifestyle comparing with others so when they asked my name i told my name then they started to address me using my name but as you know according to uh, our tradition addressing calling monk using their name is kind of odd things it is not compatible for me it was not compatible me for me then i said okay i know it's difficult to pronounce my name for you because this is kind of very old language name so better to use just a reverend you can call me reverend any time then they started to call me reverend because bante also very uh new for them they don't know the word bante therefore i don't want to uh, disturb for them but they started to talk to me as reverend they have lot of gatherings every, sometimes every week they have some kind of gathering every weekend they have some kind of gatherings they invited me to have some parties some some kind of uh, gatherings first i went there they invited me to have things that they what they are eating what they are drinking then i said no i just i'm here just to connect with i'm not taking uh, my uh, dinner I'm, i don't take dinner and i don't drink i was with them at that time because they invited me so i respect their invitation when i am living with them like this they get to know about me oh he has some kind of different lifestyle his words it means they are, they are thinking about my words are different therefore i i heard sometimes when they started to tell something some other sometimes others are telling to others advice into others be careful reverend is here be nice reverend is here and later on when they having their gatherings they stop use drugs alcohol particularly alcohol when i am there 
they did not use any alcohol. I did not ask to stop them, but it's happened. This stanza is telling this. First, you should establish your proper behavior. Then it will influence to others. You don't want to use word to advise to others. Dear friends, this is my personal experience. In this country, there are people who are ready to listen to us, including you. Why? You have confidence of us. Why you have confidence? Seen our behavior, uh, investigating about our life, and through all these experiences and knowledge, you know, he's a monk, he has different kind of lifestyle. Therefore, whatever the advice given by us, you're ready to listen to those advice carefully. Why? We, you are taking, we as, we as an example, as a role model. So, being a role model person, you don't want to use any words. That's enough. You can change the world. You can change the, your society where you are. But dear friends, uh, I don't think about we can change the whole world. That is impossible. Even the Buddha was in this world. He was not able to change the whole world. He did some changes, but not the whole world. But anyway, being an example to your children as a parent, being an example, being a role model to your brothers and sisters, being brothers and sisters, being an uh, example, role model to your neighborhood, being a uh, good citizen to your country, role model citizen to your country, you can change this world. You don't need to worry about it. You don't, you don't want to expect any, anything from others. But your role model would defect to others' life to change their self. This advice given by the Buddha. This advice is given by the Buddha. As he instructs others, so should he himself act. If you are giving some advice to others, then first you should establish that qualities yourself, yourself. Fully control, he should control others. When you are able to control yourself, then you can control others. Then you can control others. This is very important teachings to learn ourselves. This is very important guidance for us, because as I mentioned, we have some kind of uh, leadership in this world. So to do that leadership properly, we should have the qualities. As you know, around the world, when you're going to have a new leader, you ready to see each and everything about that person's whole life. Why? You want to make sure whether that person can lead us or not. You want to make sure. That's why you are doing, searching that. So Buddha delivered this instance 2,600 years ago. This is the nature. To become a leader, you should have qualities. Establish yourself. You should establish qualities yourself. Then you can be a good leader to the society. This is the advice given by the Buddha. So dear friends, in this particular stanza, we can see uh, these uh, advices, how applicable for our day-to-day -day life. Buddha, the Buddha delivered this stanza because of there was a monk who left with a group of monks to practice meditation to a forest. Then, when they were practicing, as you know, uh, we have three different stages during night time, first watch, second watch, 
third watch. When they start to practice meditation in first watch, giving advice to all his followers, he ready to go to his kuti room where he was sleeping and he slept. And then others finish their first watch meditation and then they're ready to go to bed. This teacher wake up and then telling to others, okay, go, go, go and meditate again. Then second watch also they're practicing meditation. When they ready to go to getting ready to go to bed in third watch, again that teacher wake up and then he ready to advise to his followers, okay, no, 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 you should go and practice. In this manner, the group became very fed up because the teacher is not allowing to any time to get rest, enough rest. All of them became very weak. They don't have enough rest. They were not able to attain any of developments because of their weakness. Mentally, they, they, they weak, physically also. So finally, they wanted to investigate about their teacher. Then they found the teacher just guiding them he don't practice himself. He don't gain nothing. Finally, they went to the Buddha. Uh, he to they told the story in front of the Buddha. Then what Buddha said, because one who wants to teach others should first teach himself and conduct himself properly. If someone wants to teach others, first thing, as a first thing that the person should do, teach himself. We have to get lessons for ourselves. Having that lesson, yes, you can teach others because you are experiencing yourself. This is the advice given by the Buddha. This advice given by the Buddha. So now you can see 2,600 years ago that Buddha mentioned that thing is exactly right. There is no any arguments, debate about that fact. To be a leader to the society, you should have established, you should establish your qualities first. This is very important lesson that we can get through this uh, particular stanza. To become an instructor, you should be instructed to yourself. You should give advice to yourself. I think this lesson is unique for everybody, not just one particular group of people, not just a person. This is for all human beings, this guidance. This is very important for our life. So realizing this universal reality, let us think about ourselves. If you want to be a good person as a mother, as a father, as a brother, as a sister, as a citizen of a country, you should develop, you should pay attention to develop your qualities. Being a, st being a person who establish those qualities, then easily you can influence others to do good, not, not to do any useless things, to do good things, useful things for their self. I think that would be enough for today. I, we can continue this sermon next week too. So now let us use this opportunity to share merits with others. First of all, think about our departed relatives, friends and family members who departed near us. By the power of these merits and metta thoughts, may they all be well, happy and peaceful. May they be able to attain ultimate 
bliss of nibbana having that aspiration say sadhu 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 Whoever is affected COVID-19 and any other sicknesses, by the power of these merits and metatos, may they all be well, happy, and peaceful. May they all be able to attain ultimate happiness, having that aspiration, make blessings upon them, saying, Sadhu, Sadhu, Sadhu. May you all be well, happy, and peaceful. All your wishes come true by the power of these merits and metatos. May we all be able to attain ultimate bliss of Nibbana, having that aspiration, say, Sadhu, Sadhu, Sadhu. By means of these meritorious deeds, may I never join with the police. May I join always with the wise until the time I attain Nibbana. May the suffering be free from suffering. May the fear struck be free from fear. May the grieving be free from grief. So too may all beings be. From the highest realms of existence to the lowest, may all beings arisen in these realms, with poem and without poem, with perception and without perception, be released from all suffering and attain to perfect peace. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Thank you very much. Good night, Bande. Thank you. Thank you, Bande. Good night, Bande. Thank you.